Special Reports is a daily show that will cover issues surrounding the economic collapse. All our reports and daily alert news are backed up by source links. We work very hard to bring you the facts and we research everything before presenting the report. Subscribe for latest on financial crisis, oil price, global economic collapse, dollar collapse, gold, silver, bitcoin, global reset, new world order, economic collapse, economic news, political, geopolitical news. Today, we talk about Bank of America stock is in trouble under Trump. While superficial factors have lifted Buffa shares, the true underlying fundamentals look increasingly worrisome for the big banks. For many investors, Bank of America is a confusing investment. Yes, BAC shares have gained 5% for the year, which isn't a great but is still a positive result. However, that number alone doesn't explain the story. Throughout most of 2018, Bank of America stock has been a choppy mess. If we consider the non-fake news, Buffa shares may have a tough road to travel throughout the Trump administration term. While President Trump often boasts about his economic accomplishments, they re typically one-off occurrences. More critically, the markets may not have fully baked in the truly important underlying fundamentals. Prior to his election victory, analysts feared that a Trump administration would send shockwaves to the markets. Indeed, the future market forecasted extreme volatility before the opening bell of November 9, 2016. However, Trump has pro-business stances appeared to win over the market. Along with Bank of America stock, Yip Morgan Chase, Citigroup, and Wells Fargo began climbing higher. But the recent scandals impacting the White House show us that the market's original was true. Trump has always been the same. He just did a good job hiding it. Looks can be deceiving for Bank of America stock. Granted, when the president's former personal attorney pleads guilty to campaign finance violations and implicates the sitting president in his confession, that doesn't he exactly inspire confidence in the finance sector as a whole, nor do the range of other financial allegations against the Trump team, and the investigation is not done yet. But I also have some Buffa and banking specific headwinds, with which I am concerned. Essentially, the current underlying economic bullishness shares something in common with our current presidential administration. Superficially, they both sound great, like a used car salesman as pitch. But underneath the hood lies some worrying metrics. Last month, President Trump cheered robust second quarter GDP figures. Certainly, at 4.1% growth, the statistic impressed even some of his critics. However, a positive blip is one thing. Sustaining momentum over the long run is quite another. After all, former presidents Obama and Bush both of whom have been on the business end of Trump's criticisms produced strong quarters. And let us not forget that Obama's presidency started the current bull market. What the administration's opponents haven't criticized firmly is the labor market. Unemployment steadily declined throughout Trump's time in the White House a decline that also began under President Obama. Since April of this year, the unemployment rate has not exceeded 4%. Taking GDP and unemployment together suggests the economy truly is improving. But I recently looked at another statistic, labor force participation rate, that frankly startled me. At just under 63%, labor force participation has never recovered since the 2008 financial collapse. That is not to say that the economy and labor market isn't improving. Many regions have experienced bursts in productivity and hiring. But the disjointed statistics indicates that Trump's recovery plan isn't working broadly as planned. In fact, if we use labor force participation as our benchmark, Main Street has gone nowhere since late 2013. This brings me to interest rates. Generally, they re-rising, which isn't necessarily favorable for Bank of America stock. Sure, the company earns more profits for each loan agreement they close. But those loans are steadily declining in number. Buffa faces tough economic headwinds. Another related risk factor is the labor market relative to cost of living. I believe my personal experience is similar to yours. We see people work more jobs, which leads us to assume the economy has improved. But how has it improved on a net-net basis? For instance, a few years back, real estate prices remained at reasonable levels. Today, I marvel that the average family can afford them. Which is to say, that most people want to borrow from banks, because it has a moot point. Why borrow for a home purchase for which a lending institution will instantly deny you? 
and wage growth is another issue. Since 2009, wage growth had been steadily increasing, trying to retake pre-recession levels. Instead, they peaked in November 2016, and have been down still below 2008 levels ever since. Most importantly, the fact that Trump touts the economy as one of his great accomplishments shows us that his administration has no plan to fix these issues. I am not entirely sure when this factor will impact Bank of America stock. What I can tell you is that economic headwinds have already hurt the financials. In 2017, net interest income overtook non-interest income as the biggest revenue contributor. That is a concern because non-interest income is income from actual banking activities, such as lending and advising. In other words, Bank of America now gets more of its money from activities other than banking. Ultimately, this unusual trend may not be a blip. Since Q3 2017, net interest income outpaced non-interest income. That tells me that the big banking environment is sicker than advertised, just like our political state. As of this writing, Josh Inamoto did not hold a position in any of the aforementioned securities. Secret government program delivers 5x more than Social Security. The average Social Security recipient gets $1,000 a month. Yet, James M. gets $3,808 a month, Cynthia F. gets $7,267 a month all while Charles P. is getting a mind-boggling $24,974 a month. All thanks to this little-known tax rebate program every American qualifies for regardless of age, income, or net worth. Depending on your age and when you start, you could collect more than $1 million over your lifetime. What has more, your spouse, children and your grandchildren can get in on this as well. Stock analysts should you listen. Bank of America Corporation Analysis of Analyst Stock Price Update a glance over shares of Bank of America Corporation price, that shifted 0.62% away from 20 days simple moving average, 4.14% from 50 days simple moving average, and separated 3.78% from 200 days simple moving average. Bank of America Corporation declared loss minus 0.13% in latest trading session with settlement price of $31.27. The stock has changed hands 38.54 million shares in session, while it possesses an average volume of 60.63 million shares. The stock of Bank of America Corporation switched 37.45% away from its 52-week minimum, and distanced minus 5.39% from its 52-week peak. The company kept a record of 9.98 billion was near 10.18 billion shares outstanding. Bank of America Corporation Volatility and Short Ratio Last week volatility change was observed by 0.90% and the stock helped 1.20% change in the last month. Bank of America Corporation has a beta of 1.29. The firm witnessed the short ratio at 2.39 and the short float is around of 1.45%. Bank of America Corporation important technical indicators, the average true range of the stock was last seen at 0.41, while the relative strength index of the stock was logged at 59.95. Average true ranges an indicator based on trading ranges smoothed by an and period exponential moving average percentage of the true range values. Average true range can display volatility of stocks, ETFs, and indexes. The principle of average true range is very similar to other volatility indicators. A high average true range value signals a possible trend change. A low average true range value correlates with a weaker trend movement. Bank of America Corporation Consensus Recommendation Experts Experienced Mean Rating at 2.00 Following Consensus Analysis Rating Scale 1.0 Strong Buy 2.0 Buy 3.0 Hold 4.0 Sell 5.0 Strong Sell The analysts' recommendations are not the only factor to be kept in mind while taking investment decision whether to buy, hold, or sell a stock that investors should not rely only there are many side factors which have deep impact on stock as performance such as financial reports filed with SEC, company as portfolio, and approach towards market systematic and unsystematic risk factors. Bank of America Corporation stock past historical trends. If we checked the overall image of stock during recent quarter then we found that stock performance is trading up 6.04%. This check is giving bullish indication for investors. Investors expect a good YTD performance from the stock.
From the start of year 2018, to present date Bank of America Corporation reported surged performance of 5.93%. Investors saw a positive move of 0.81% in last five trading days. This performance is snap optimistic view of last week. The stock is remained in positive radar as stock is rising. Going move backward a period of six month analysis we come to know that stock dipped minus 2.59% giving falling alert for investors. Now we take an assessment of last 12 months period where stock moved higher with performance of 31.83%. Common shareholders want to know how profitable their capital is in the businesses they invested in. The company gives a row of 8.30%. The higher the row, the better the company is at generating profits. ROI is 4.80%. A positive result means that returns exceed costs. Analysts therefore consider the investment a net gain. The opposite kind of result, the negative means that costs outweigh returns. Analysts therefore view the investment as a net loss. Return on assets ratio indicates how profitable a company is relative to its total assets. The return on assets is 0.90%. A company that manages their assets well will have a high return, while if manages their assets poorly will have a low return. Thanks for watching. Tell us what you think in the comments section below.